Right. You ready for some more fishing? Please, no. <laughs> And welcome back to Wolfpack Gaming. I'm Craig here with my buddy Costa, and we're playing some more open world game, the open world game. That's going to involve no further fishing. There will be fishing. No. Heirloom trouble entry. That sounds like it's landlocked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yes. Heirloom, heirloom trouble. I'm, I'm just waiting for it. And across the open seas... <laughs> No. <laughs> the two siblings are fighting about who deserves their family heirloom. Both of their points of argument are valid, and both seem to be equally sleazy people as they try to bribe you with different gear. You decide to roll some dice to make the decision for you, and you ended up with a weird helmet and some XP. Excellent. The ah, oh, land content. Yes, <laughs> more land content. This seems this seems very very boxy. Yeah, it's very boxy. It's very uh. It's almost it's almost city like. Let's see, we got a mask here. Oh, that wasn't the right input. Is that the mask shop? Uh, moon and sun mask entry. Let's that see. That seems interesting. Yes. Uh, oh, right, it's a mask thing. So you have to go down, down, mask. That's oh, right. We never checked out the bear mask. Let's you sing ferociously high notes, instilling fear in surrounding enemies and inspiring allies. Why the hell aren't we wearing this? I don't know. That sounds. That doesn't sound anything like an oh, actual bear. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, wow. living on a bear. bear. <laughs> living on a bear. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> ferociously high notes. Damn. <laughs> A ceremonial mask used in Leo. Damn! When a couple gets married. This had to be the most obnoxious mask for you to obtain. You honestly can't even keep track of the weird places you had to be at just the right time. Or the amount of different people you had to talk to. The only bright side was seeing a couple have a romantic moment and then get married. They gave you this mask in return for all your help getting them together. Uh, Solid. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't really know what to think of that, but... That that, that, that that seems fine. Everything happening at the right time. Yes, <laughs> all all the right all the right pieces in all the right places. Let's see. Let's check out this side quest in particular. Why is there a wall? I don't know. Escort quest. I hate these. <laughs> well, good. We already did it. <laughs> like they never walk fast enough. Yeah. A noble requested you accompany their grandfather to their home. They must have ha been hated as you had to hold back many enemies to keep them moving, but successfully got them there. You returned to the noble and were rewarded with a useless item that takes up inventory space. If I had a nickel. Does that, is that, does that sound right? That's, that sounds that's, exactly that's right. A, that sounds pretty spot on. We're going to uh, give you a quest item which has absolutely no merit over what you're currently wearing. Yes. But something compels you to do the escort quest anyway. Like, you you, you feel a need to do it just to just to get it over with. I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like checking out the relationship with the prince. You sure? Okay, maybe I do. He might be fresh. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's very true. Eh? Actually, I have a better idea. It's yeah. close side, but yeah, there yeah. we go. Close fish. We don't need to look at there that we go. Relationships. We never checked out Fairy Queen. You met with the ruler of Leo. Damn! After an exquisite meal, he invited you to his quarters, where he confided in you his feelings of utter defeat. He seized the people of Leodum's pride. Oh, uh, Leo, damn! Uh, yet his council refuses to let him bring change. You did your best to comfort him before taking your leave. Your relationship with the prince grew stronger. We're going to completely leave all of the women we've met up to this point for the prince. Great. What about the fairy queen? You met the surprisingly overbearing fairy queen at the Ivory Lake. She showered you with gifts and begged you to visit often. Your relationship with the fairy queen grew stronger. Excellent. Anything's possible in Leo. Damn! Damn! I don't, I don't know if that was Leo Dam. I don't think that was Leo Dam. Yeah. It was near Leo Dam. Oh, wait. Actually, 
Check this out. We have, I think we have six skill points. Do we? Oh, yeah. wow. You've been keeping track, nerd. No, no, no. no. It, it said in the top right corner before. Never mind. Yeah. Still nerd. I mean, you're not wrong. I, Critical I, hit. Costa, I, like, I have a gaming channel. You're damn right I'm a nerd. Leo damn right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Pr uh, critical hit. Precisely hit glowing weak spots to deal large amounts of damage. <laughs> glowing weak spots. Okay. Uh, counter. Block at the perfect moment to freeze time, gain additional damage, and increase adrenaline. God, that... Is that what that does? Yeah, that kind of... I feel like for the most part, that's kind of what it's like. I'm playing... Uh, an actual game that I'm playing is called Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Dana. Or Dana. And, um... And yeah, that's damn no, damn no, and uh, and yeah, that's basically what countering does. Uh, let's see, ability skip. I think we looked at this one a bunch. Uh, we still don't have completionist, so we can get plus ten to speech checks and ooh, lock picks are harder to break. I feel like that's a bad thing. Lock picks are harder to. Oh, break. if you're picking a lock. Yeah. The yeah, Pit so the, breaking. Yeah, that's some so, Skyrim thing right there. Yeah. So, uh, do we, do, just so just so we also have the first level of completionist done. You want to just get these two? I mean, we could, if you choose to rather pick locks as opposed to ethereally phasing through all the walls like we have been. You can. I mean, that's you can unlock your pick. I mean, that's that's the thing. We haven't needed to pick a lock yet because we've passed over everything. But, I don't know. We are all of being. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the, maybe unlocking this, <laughs> um, unlocking this <laughs> gets us more quests that have to do with, that, like, that have lock picking in the journal entries. I would love it if, while trying to unlock this skill, it fails. <laughs> <laughs> the unlocking of lock picking... <laughs> <laughs> for for whatever reason this uh, getting this skill in particular required you to unlock something in your computer with an actual lock pick now it's just kind of sitting in there yeah i'm just gonna get these two let's see we can get silver tongue your incredibly high speech stat can make even the most ridiculous answers believable so you're a salesman and cunning. Gain the ability to lockpick all locked doors. Without the picks breaking because we have the previous skill. Yeah. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna get that. Every single time. Yeah, just, just tap uh, the enter bar and nothing happens. I, I I just I I can just get into all doors. <laughs> oh, it's a ghost. <laughs> What's happening? Surely someone else hasn't taken over the key for a, an extended ah, period of time. There might be fish in there. No, don't go in there. <laughs> it's dangerous. Ooh, ah! I'm in the water. Ooh, I'm going for a swim and it's very relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Fiend. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. Uh, Duke Mighty, the undefeated God King entry. Jesus. That man has a lot of epithets. That's, uh... Let's see. You're, That's you attempted time. to have a conversation with this obviously important figure, but for some reason, they're not a primary NPC. They only gave you a one-liner at every attempt to talk to them. You were rewarded with a solid amount of confusion. Thank you're, you. You're not wrong. Also, why is why is the Duke King of God Almightiness... Uh, okay, I guess this I guess this is pretty big. This is a pretty big house in comparison it's to got everything a else. Pond? Yeah. I and mean there's no fish. I mean my what, man. Yeah, what what my kind, man. I mean what kind of king wouldn't have a pond? With no fish. My mm. man. I guess it No, nah, it's not really a moat. Garden maze entry. Oh, so he has a garden maze in the front too. Dude, this dude's loaded. Yeah, this dude is pretty freaking loaded. And he loaded. has absolutely no consequence for the main storyline or side quest. Yeah. I mean, what what kind of consequence would he have in in the main story? Let's see, lost jewel. Eh, that sounds boring. Yeah, that dude literally had more to say to us than than what stolen goods. Wait a minute, lost jewel, stolen goods. Are these tied? D 
Did we confirm the Illuminati? Um, uh, oh. <laughs> I didn't know we were going there. Oh, we went there. Uh, let's see. Lost Jewel. You were asked to find a lost jewel on your travel. It's a good thing quest indicators exist, or, or else you would never have been able to find such a small object in such an open world. You were rewarded with a large amount of coins. I'll take it. How many coins? What do I buy? You were rewarded with so many coins, they could have just bought another jewel. What do these coins look like? What does anything look like? What is currency? What currency do we have? Can I can I see this currency, please? You no, I map, just apparently. no, I just see I just see more question marks. All I see are question marks. I inputted the wrong thing. No. <laughs> generic. Oh, a, another generic fetch quest. Let's check it out. Generic fetch quest number three. Okay, we have we have three of them. Yet another uneventful fetch quest that wasn't worth writing down. We got it. Yes. Yes, we completed it. High five. Yeah. Yeah. Fetch quests. Not a single one of them have a backstory. <laughs> All of them just, are just like, eh. They're just fetch quests. Eh, 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 eh. I have lost my... Ooh, a quick grind. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did we kill? That's the first one. Damn. An old weathered looking man told you he'd Whoa, give you we his... we killed the old man? Uh, his most prized possession if you brought him 100 maple syrups from hunting walking green mushrooms. You were pretty sure the syrups had about a 0.013% drop rate, but still put in the work and brought him the syrups. He gave you a glowing scroll that you have no idea how to use. Worth. Absolutely worth. Man, so 100 maple syrups that each of them have a 0.013% drop rate. Let's go, Mr. Math. That's... A lot. That's a lot of time. Like, that's, that's, that's one out of, let's see, every... Huh. It's like what? It's point zero one three. That's like less than 10,000, or one per 10,000? Yeah. It is... <laughs> one per it something is less than that. It is 13 out of every 100,000. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> or 1.3 out of every 10,000. Yeah, that's uh that's not a small or that is a small amount. That's a very small amount. And we did it. We did it. In like a second. Yup. Only possible in open world game. Is it just me or am I going slower than before? I don't know. Maybe it just feels like it because there's there's nothing on the map. Oh look, did we water this area? No. I, spe uh, uh, uh. I specifically took there away go. the fish that was right there, there we go. so we would avoid this exact thing. There we thing. go. Let's go. Let's do some fishing. Let's do it. I it's going to be great. I legit prepared exactly for this. Oh, come on, Casa. That's not that bad. I think I anticipated movement. Wow, that was really... Damn. That was, that was like, too easy. God damn it. <laughs> You're encouraging him to do this again. <laughs> Okay, now now it feels like I'm moving faster for some reason. Because you're out of the water. Yeah, that's that's probably it. That was really hard. Bridge, Bridge toll. toll. I thought that said troll for a second. That got I mean, exciting. That's, that's certainly possible. Bridge toll. Some ruffians wouldn't let you pass without paying a fee. So it kind of is a troll. They obviously were causing others trouble as well. So you taught them a lesson. You were rewarded with free passage. Oh, thank you. Yes. Excellent. Easy pass. Yep. Uh, oh. So this is a relationship one. Veriche 2. We're just gonna go backwards for her. Start at 3, go towards 1. And that is what gonna, we did, didn't we? Yeah, and then we're gonna go to 6, 5. Oh wait, four. we already got one. We never looked at it. Oh. You found Veriche late at night and invisibly upset. She agreed to having your company, and she told you about how her historical research weighs heavy on her. So she's invisibly upset? Yes. Oh. She learned about so much evil, and she didn't feel that she was any better than the evil she saw. You listened and did your best to comfort her where you could. Your relationship with Veriche grew stronger. Let's see. In the first one, you so found... she's a bad person. 
Yes. You found Verice aggressively writing, and despite you attempting not to disrupt her, she invited you in for tea? She told you how she thinks Exodia will always be trapped in a state of frustration and dissatisfaction without history of its own, so that's what she's been writing down. The history of Exodia. You listened and shared in her excitement to obliterate, and your relationship with Verice grew stronger. <laughs> I'm just gonna obliterate history. <laughs> Well, he did say she is evil, so... Oh, hello. Ooh, that was weird. I did I did a oh. input. It, it, it's like, as soon as you run into it, it is instantaneously up. So, like, if you hit a, if you hit a wrong thing, it's like, you, you have to do it again. I don't see what you're doing there. First property entry. Ooh, we bought a house. Oh, we have property now. We bought a house. Christina, we did it. We bought a house. Someone gave you a tutorial on how to buy a property and then gave you a seemingly low offer on a place. You took it only to realize this was obviously the first property in the game and probably not the best buy. You were rewarded with a cobwebbed hut. Oh, I feel that. We did Every it. Every single time. The, welcome to our cobwebbed hut. It is. That's not what a real eventual house is going to be like, right? A cobweb hut? Yeah. Hashtag no promises. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag no fish. There will not be fish in the house. <laughs> See, we're in agreement. We, we, we don't want smart. Fish. Yeah. Oh, speaking, no, speaking of fish. No fish. Bad. Oh. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Uh, uh. Okay, that one was just a lot easier. We caught a pike. Is it because we have focus now? I wonder if I wonder if that is it. I really hope not. Because huh. then we can delve deeper into this game and really not delve deeper into the fishing aspect. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. This looks like it should be obscured, but I feel like I will be able to walk over this. Yep. So can Ooh. you just go anywhere? I'm pretty sure. It's an okay. open world. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> How could I forget? Ooh, bloodstone. Judas Priest would be proud. More fishing. So Please, no. you catch a fish by just lining it up in that square? Pretty much. Oh, that, that's what that's what you remember. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, rainbow trout. That's fun. Been trying to catch those guys. No, are there any around this, you? This is a peak. Oh, they stalk by me, yeah. Nice topography oh is that a fortress oh it's an evil fortress we're Let's gonna take it, it down uh, yeah it down. templar fortress number three so you do that just by using your keyboard yes there's there's a lot of work that's done in the game that is implied <laughs> but we never actually see it Dude, and that's <laughs> and that's what truly makes it an open world <laughs> she gets this and then she's going to actually watch the episode and then see all the story that goes on every single time you press those four arrow keys. Yes. So let's see. Templar Fortress number three. You conquered a fortress of Templars wearing black and red painted armor and acquired a gigantic amount of loot. Are we wearing the black and white or the black and red armored? Uh, I think the... Are they? I think the Templars are. Okay. Yeah. Shouldn't there be another comma in there? Uh, no. It should I be Templars, comma, wearing black and... I think the comma would be there if we were the ones wearing the black and red painted armor. You see, this is why I failed English. <laughs> this is why I'm a numbers guy. There are no letters and numbers. Either. Oh, wait. <laughs> are there letters and numbers? Or are there letters in math? Well, it varies. Yes. that That is exactly the case. We got a dusty feather. Are all the useless items feathers? I, I, that's very possible. Is, are they shaped like feathers? I assume since they're feathers, they're shaped like feathers. I, 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 I mean, is the icon is that is it shaped oh. like a feather? Uh, where would it go? Look Skills the, maybe. The chivos. Chivos? Is chivos. that what it is? I think it's chivos. Chivos. No. Uh, nope. That's. Oh no, it's here. Okay, stats. Sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because it's um, nope. Come on, challenges. You there it this. is. They might all be feathers. 
Oh. Because here, here's the uh, here's the unnecessary collectibles. They're all that's. They they might be feathers. We can make one weird pillow for our or cobweb a, hut. Or a bird. We can make a bird for the can, cobweb hut. I we guess can, we can make a Franken less useful Franken bird. That's what we're doing. By the way, side quest. Frankenbird, free loot. Free loot! Oh, man. Oh, boy! It was just lying More loot there. that I don't know what to do with! That happens sometimes. It be like that, you know? Yeah, well, welcome to being the 1%. Oh, what did I do? You went up. Free loot. There we go. You I... found a house at the end of a road with a bunch of free loot in it. You were rewarded with being over-encumbered. Damn. That... I feel that, huh. too. Huh. Accurate? Yeah. Yeah. There's a house full of stuff. But yeah, you're going to be able to take everything in the house and be completely fine with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it. So, we're we're walking on this mountain. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure I just, like, crossed a gigantic wall. Um, it is it just me or does, or does the 2D nature make it look like we're just walking on a giant tree stump? Are we going sideways? I, oh, no. I don't. I don't know. You were going at like such a rate it looked like you were just going to the right but sideways. Skeleton fortress, huh? Eh, I'm gonna eh. try and readjust myself and not break every bone in my body. Do it, bro. Uh, this is why they showed me all those milk commercials when they were when I was a kid. Milk milk is good for your bones. Uh do 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 right? Fortresses. And we're looking for skeleton, skeleton fortress. You conquered a fortress full of skeletons adorned in bronze attire and acquired a small amount of loot. Well, that's lame. They're in bronze attire and we get small amounts of loot? Yeah. Well. The I'm, dude's driving a Ferrari, but he has like three bucks in his wallet. Okay. That, that's what we call car poor. Parkour? Car poor. Car poor. Until next time, be sure to like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe if you if you want us to do parkour in open world game. The we've open been world doing game. Par well, are we doing parkour or are we just phasing through the walls? I don't think we've actually came to a consensus. I think we're phasing through walls. But it's very possible that we're doing parkour. Lock picking is useful. Yes. We're lock picking while doing parkour. Peace out.